You're probably tired of seeing those sensational headlines claiming that AI is taking over coding. As someone who works in software development, I understand that it can be concerning. However, these headlines are often just clickbait designed to grab your attention, and hopefully this will be the last time you'll need to watch one of these videos. Let's take a step back and cut through the noise. Is it really possible for AI to replace developers and perform the same job with equal or better quality? The short answer is no, but let's look into the reasons why this is the case. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of why AI isn't here to replace you, but rather to help you become a better developer. Firstly, AI needs us to make sense. These new shiny AI tools can write code, fix bugs and do research. But behind that impressive facade, they often struggle with the bigger picture. You know that a client doesn't just give you a neatly worded problem to solve. They give you messy human needs, and that is often the hardest part in programming, to clarify the requirements of a feature or product, not the actual implementation. So developer's job isn't just to code the problem, feature or product. It also involves client needs analysis. You have to sync with clients and stakeholders, like product managers and designers, to understand the core problem they are trying to solve. You also have to do solution brainstorming. Once they give you the problem, developers usually brainstorm potential solutions, and this will involve sketching the user flows, which is visual maps of how users interact with the product, or creating prototypes like basic functional models. And you also have to consider technical feasibility. Like can you build this with the existing tools and technologies, or do you have to extend the system? It also involves design collaboration. You also have to ensure that the user interface is intuitive and for that you have to collaborate with designers to ensure that the solution is visually appealing and user-friendly. Another step is the integration planning, where you have to determine how the feature will interact within existing systems, like how will it be maintained and updated in the future. There is also testing and feedback phase. For example, once a feature is built, it goes through the testing phase and developers should fix the bugs identified by testers and ensure a smooth user experience. And they also might gather user feedback and iterate on the design again based on that input. There is also maintenance and updates phase. For example, you have to fix bugs on that new feature and keep the feature working smoothly over time. And overall that the whole system continues to function as intended. And there are many more steps than this. So coding is just one piece of this puzzle. And these non-coding aspects are just as important for creating successful software products, if not more. And this whole AI panic might remind you of something. And that is for example PHP is dead phrase. We've been hearing that for years, and it is still powering 80% of all websites that rely on PHP. And this is mainly because tech trends get exaggerated, Tools always change and skills will always evolve, but the core need for skilled developers will remain the same. The next reason is that we will always have legacy code that has to be maintained. So many businesses still rely on older systems, even if they are clunky, but at the same time they are also building new features and services with new technologies. And they have to make sure that these old and new systems need to interact with each other and be maintained at the same time. AI can generate these code snippets, but it fails to slot it safely into a complex system, and that's where you need developers to make sure that the whole system isn't being broken because of this new feature or service. Let's also address the elephant in the room, security. Big enterprises, especially banks, have super strict rules about data handling. Even their own employees and developers go through circles to access sensitive stuff and code. And even if we imagine that AI can do developers' jobs better, do you think these big enterprises will hand over their information and code to an AI to possibly store their information or, let's say, OpenAI's or other LLM's servers? Obviously not. Responsibility and oversight are way too important at this scale. So the hype around AI is big, but in reality, if you compare it directly with developers, current AI is not able to replace even junior developers. It is meant to be a complementary tool for developers, but not a replacement. So technology changes fast and new technologies are coming out every year, and they are meant to speed up the development workflow. 
This means that as AI gets better at routine stuff, we can focus more on problem solving that machines simply cannot replicate. As you saw, coding isn't just writing lines, it's solving problems and designing solutions. So the hard and challenging problems still need to be solved by humans. And AI isn't the enemy, it's an opportunity. You shouldn't be afraid of it, but you also shouldn't ignore it. Use it and keep learning. The world will always need skilled developers who can think beyond the lines of code. And if you want to stay ahead of curve and keep your skills sharp, make sure to join our free developers community where we will learn how to use AI and all the other trends. The link will be in the description.